So they're ungrateful, that's for sure. They're spoiled brats. Unholy, without love, unforgiving. So even if somebody does something to you and says, I'm very sorry, I shouldn't have done that, no, they won't forgive you. They'll, then they'll take it out on you even worse because now you've shown yourself weak for uh, showing your enemies love. Slanders, how we talk to people. Don't control ourselves. You have to exhibit the law of God through a spiritual application of the law, not the letter of the law. Yes, I know it's a very strong statement and it's difficult to do. If you're baptized, you've received the Spirit of God, that's what you have to do. You have to make the spiritual application. So you can't just commit adultery. You can't even think about it. Brutal, not lovers of the good. Treacherous, rash, conceited. Lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness but denying its power. Have nothing to do with them. Well, that's quite a little chapter there, isn't it? So, do we see more of that? We hear about it on the news. Every Sabbath, a new moon. So, we're being warned of, of the end time events and what's coming upon us. So, this was a bit on the fly. And uh, hopefully we can get some of the, uh, you know, the marriage and divorce papers concluded and some of the other information for the, the papers for the reading of the law done uh, in a formal fashion. But anyway, this was just something that was on my mind for a while. So uh, hopefully everybody got a little bit out of it. And, uh, and just watch the news, but be aware what you're being given in a lot of the news stations is incorrect. It's, uh, it's not balanced with two sides of the story. They're trying to get you to believe something. And it may well be we can you know, print out this earth charter and some of the dialogues, but it's all um, evolutionary spiritualism that's behind it, and that's what's coming. So thank you for your attention, and uh, have a good Sabbath.